Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Jocelyn Davis, chilling today with my partner in crime, Dana Ward. What's up? And we are so excited to have joining us, gosh, someone we've known for a long time, High School Musical, <laughs> and now starring in Switched at Birth, it's Lucas Graviel. What's up? What's up? Hello. How's it going, guys? It's so exciting to have you here because we've been longtime fans. Well, it's, thank you. It's exciting to be here. Yeah. I mean, look at this amazing backdrop. This Pretty is real, cool. by the way, guys. This is like, yeah. Thank you. It's not one of those like Hollywood things. It's really Hollywood Sometimes back then. Not I think painting. it's too cool to be real, but it's real. It's real. Oh, man. Another thing that is real <laughs> is that you are back in action on ABC Family. I know your fans are so stoked to have you back on TV or back in their lives, for that matter. <laughs> so, okay, what has it been like joining this new family, I guess? Well, it's been great. Um, I, uh, I've never done a TV series before on a regular basis, so it's mm -hmm. been awesome to have a job that I go to every day and see the same people, and, and we've just instantly become a family, and it's just... I don't know, it's so much fun to, to kind of have a character that you carry on for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, with High School Musical, it was cool. I got to do that over three movies, but there mm -hmm. were movies in between and, you know, other jobs that I did. So this has been cool to kind of have one character for a while. Who on the cast is really the most like your family? Well, I mean, Leah Thompson and I and Katie LeClaire, I mean, come on, we look like it's a family. Crazy. It is yeah, so really weird. Do. We, I mean, we all Did you dyed, dyed our hair. Yeah, we, we okay. dyed our oh. hair. I was gonna say, if not, that <laughs> is too weird. That um, is too weird. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, still, it's like uncanny. Yeah, uh, it's 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 really cool. But you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I got I get along super well with Vanessa on the show. We're kind of like a you know little comedy duo sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. We get to kind of banter back and forth like real brother and sister, but they're not. But they're not. They're no, switched no. at birth, brother and sister. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the cast. We were actually talking about this off camera before we started shooting. The cast is like stellar. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible it's cast. Amazing. And, um, you know, sometimes in these sorts of jobs, like you'll go to work and it'll be a job. Other times you get that really family vibe on the set. And what's it been like working with all of these different actors? And were you nervous to meet any of them or just excited? I was super excited to meet yeah. Leah Thompson, of course. I mean, I Back to the Future was one of my favorite movies growing up. So I watched it a thousand cool. times, all three of them. And so that was just, I couldn't believe that she was actually playing my mom. Um, <laughs> It's just so cool. But, I mean, everybody, like, I love the George Lopez show. I mean, Constance Marie is amazing. And um, I haven't seen Friday Night Lights, but um, oh, everyone so that I talk to is like, oh, yeah, D.W. Moffat's on my show. And they're like, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, must, the guy must be just doing his job. Man, just character, <laughs> He's actually a really sweet guy in person, yeah. I promise. <laughs> Oh, man. And you actually got to sing on last week's episode alongside someone that you sort of already have a connection to. Yeah. Aust Whoa, high-fiving. What's going on? Um, alongside Austin Butler. And you guys have the whole Sharpay connection, except I read that you never actually were together in a scene for no, no. High School Musical or Sharpay's Fabulous Adventures. Right, right yeah. He, uh, he was on set the days that I was there. Okay. But I only mm -hmm. shot, I, I actually only shot one day because um, it was just that one little scene at Can't the very end of the thing. So, um, but yeah, he was hanging around and we got to hang out and, and meet and stuff. So that was cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. I thought it was weird though that, I mean, okay, you guys tell me. Okay. Do we look a, a little alike? I see like, a similarity. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I guess with my blonde maybe hair. maybe it's just people have put it out there. Well, I don't know, but... Oh, no. Are you switched to birth, too, and he's my brother? <laughs> <laughs> I can see where this is going. No, What's but happening? He, he played my sister's love interest in the Sharpay movie. Yeah. And now he's playing my sister's love interest in Switched at Birth. And he kind of oh. looks a little like me. I mean, he's obviously a lot taller and a little more hunky or whatever but you know what I mean you know it's like well, it keeps the door open for I, for drama just in case the writers want to go somewhere yeah that's true that's very true I should uh, mention that to them maybe there's a double switched at birth story here maybe oh maybe. maybe very common separate issue. that would be separated at birth though oh yeah oh, okay. that would be separated at right because you would be twins related. right Oh. But Guitar Face, I don't want them to fall apart. I know, I, mean, I know. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Isn't that a crazy band name, Guitar Face? I love Face? it. I love it, though. It's good. Someone's going to steal it. The first one that we had Again. was uh, Third World Bus Plunge, but they, they didn't approve that one. <laughs> uh, I wonder why not. <laughs> I can't think of silly any people. reason. <laughs> silly people, silly people. So did you know when you signed on to the show that you actually were going to have a character who 
had this musical side or was that something that got introduced after you already started mm. shooting and everything? Totally added afterwards. Really? Uh, and, and we actually joke about how many interests my character Toby has on the show because in the first episode, I think my first line of the whole thing was, hey, I can't pick up Bay tomorrow because I have lacrosse practice. So <laughs> I, I play lacrosse, I, uh, I'm into music, I obviously have my own band. Um, when she rides off in the motorcycle on Emmett's motorcycle, I know exactly what kind of motorcycle it is—a 1969 hey. Bonneville TT, whatever. You're Clearly, building, you're building the college resume. Yeah, uh, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be well versed, you know, all around. And uh, you're pretty good at basketball. See, yeah, I mean, yeah, can't forget so about that. So I don't know what Toby doesn't do at this point. Um, He's like a Renaissance man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. Well, I guess in high school I did the same thing. You know, you just kind of mm -hmm. do everything you can and. Yeah. Get... What were you like in high school? I was. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was a theater kid. I did sports like up until the beginning of high school, and then I started, uh, you know, doing musical theater and dancing and all that stuff, and so. I kind of really didn't spend that much time at school. I was hanging out at the theater most of the time, and um, I don't. I, I wouldn't say I was well liked in high school, but uh, you know, I was. I was probably I'm a little sure prick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't see that. Well, I was no. just focused on like you know. I okay. I made this decision early on that this is what I wanted to do, and I kind of was like, all right, well. I know I'm not going to stay here, um, you know, for the rest of my life, so I'm just going to focus on what I need to do to get me closer to, mm -hmm. you know, where I want to be. And so I kind of just put on the blinders and, and did as much as I could, you know, always doing some kind of play or writing some kind of skit or shooting some kind of video or writing songs wow. or... You know, all kinds of weird stuff. So, so what would You're you say proactive. was like? Yeah, what was the? So, so many of our viewers ask. You know, how do you break in? What do you think was like your big crossover? Like, getting into the business. Well, was it High School Musical or was it something else? Oh, totally like, High School Musical. Yeah. I mean, you know, by far. But I mean, just to get to that point, I feel like you know, opportunities uh, are are always around you. And you know, first of all, you have to be able to bring the opportunity to you by by allowing yourself to believe that it's possible. Mm -hmm. And then I think once the opportunity comes to you, you have to be prepared. So, and you don't know what that opportunity is going to be. So that's why my method was to do everything that I possibly could so that <laughs> anything that came my way, I'd be prepared for you're it. You're ready. And yeah. now you're doing everything. It's Toby. Yeah, well, seriously. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Toby's gonna have a little drama though coming yeah. up. Talk to us about it. Yeah, Toby has a little problem. Um, he likes to gamble and uh, mm. he likes to play poker and he's not very good. Uh -huh. um, so as a rich kid who doesn't have a whole lot of responsibility or, or consequences, I think he uh, tends to, you know, be frivolous with, uh, with his gambling money and uh, in turn gets himself into trouble and might pull other characters into some trouble too. Oh. I don't know. Maybe you'll have to watch. So is this Very something he's been keeping secret from the family? Oh, or yeah. Like he's been doing it on his own? Well, um... Uh, some of the, I, I think my family knows about it. Um, Bay definitely knows, but not as, you know, my parents don't know the extent of how bad it really gets. No. And definitely in this next episode, it gets really bad. And they don't, and I, I never tell them um, because it's just so hard on me or whatever. But uh, yeah, I, it, this is definitely um, a new thing for other characters. I'm not going to say who, but maybe another sister that may not may have a hearing problem. That <laughs> may or may not. May or may not have a hearing right, problem. Right. May or may not be dragged into my uh, my follies. What? Uh, Are you going to get her gambling as well, possibly? Well, I, oh I my heard, gosh, I didn't even go there. I <laughs> heard somewhere oh that deaf people can pick up on people's tells better than hearing people too because... They're do because to that So she might stuff, be yeah. a partner in crime, possibly? Maybe. Wow, this is getting seriously dramatic. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. So are, I, I'm still going back to singing because I'm sorry you you performed for us and you Thank did you. such an amazing <laughs> job. Um, are we going to see any more performances for the rest of the season? Um, not in this uh, these first ten episodes, but okay. I am I'm writing feverishly and trying to give the producers and the writers as much songs as I can so that they can pick and choose what they like and, and hopefully, you know, it's all about how it works into the story. Mm -hmm. I, I, we're not, I think one of the greatest parts about the show is that it is real and it is, you know, they focus on the important things of the drama that are, you know, that's built between these great characters. 
And if, if it doesn't fit into the, the through line of the show, then they're not just going to throw in right. a music number just <laughs> yeah. to be like Glee or something, you know. Yeah. So I like that. I think that's really cool. So whenever the, you know, situation presents itself again, then uh, maybe it'll be happen. Well, but I'm going to be shooting music videos this summer while okay. I'm off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be putting out some more music uh, videos on, online and then hopefully, depending on how this EP goes that I just released called Sunshine on iTunes right now, um, <laughs> you know, we'll see about putting out some more music later on. I have a whole bunch right now. I've been writing all year, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's perfect that's timing, really. really, because of, you know, your own music that's going on. For people that aren't familiar with it, how would you describe your sound? Um, you know, it's kind of acoustic singer-songwriter style. Um, I've been influenced by, you know, everybody from Bob Dylan to Jason Mraz to Dave Matthews and... And I, you know, I like all kinds of different styles of music. So, um, and growing up doing musical theater, I feel like that kind of, you know, has affected my voice a little bit in in that. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a combination of everything. And I know you cover Justin Bieber song. <laughs> yeah. Are you a big believer? Or do you have the fever? Oh, I got. I I don't know if I have the Bieber fever, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> It was it was it's a lot a of fun. Song. Yeah, it was a lot of fun covering that song um, for Sharpay's fabulous adventure. And I actually just had my first live show here in in um, L. A. And I performed an acoustic uh -huh. version of it uh, there at the show. So that was a lot of fun too. Very cool. Do you have any Very plans cool. to maybe you know reconnect with your high school musical co-stars and maybe collaborate on some music? Because you guys are all so talented. I don't know. That would be a good idea. Hmm. Uh, Zach was over at the house the other night, and um, I made some beats, and he freestyled some rapping over it, which I didn't know. No Zach Efron raps, by the way. Really? Uh, what what does he rap about? Uh, I don't know if it makes sense really yet. <laughs> I think he's oh. still working on that part. Okay, okay. <laughs> he makes words rhyme in rhythm. Oh, Let's just okay. say that. Well, that's half the battle. <laughs> it sure is. Maybe not the rap battle, but it's well, half the battle. And and I actually Rhyming. I I kind of smell a trio coming along because Corbin also raps. You know, he did um, in the Heights uh, on Broadway, yeah. and a lot of his songs were very rap style. Mm -hmm. So uh, he he showed me some. He was listening to Eminem while he was in New York the whole time, and he's memorized all of his songs. And so he would just kind of rap at you for like three minutes and you're like, is he gonna stop <laughs> or should I just keep so listening? <laughs> what song or what like style would this dream team create for a song? I think it would it would have the hip hop feel to appease both of them, but then I'll throw in like a blues line over it or maybe some harmonica or you know, some jazz kind of feel it's like to a it. Fusion. So creative. I, I love like that. It. Well, and maybe so we'll be painting while we do it to like add another layer. Oh, this Why is good. Not? And tape the whole thing. Yeah, it's going to be like an artistic explosion. I love it. <laughs> Zach Corbin, get ready. There you go, guys. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so for people that have not tuned in to Switched at Birth yet, tell them why they should be watching. Switched at Birth is a great... Uh, well, first of all, ABC Family. I, I had not watched ABC Family before mm -hmm. uh, doing this show, and I, I have to say I was really surprised and, and really... Um, impressed with with the content that they've put out you know mm -hmm. um, and I think switched at birth is one of the top shows on the, on the network right now no bias intended at all. <laughs> oh, we agree. Um, it's awesome yeah but it's got real people and it's not uh, it's not about you know something that fanciful it is something that not a whole lot of people take into consideration uh, on a daily mm -hmm. basis uh, if you were switched at birth what would you do but I feel like this kind of puts you in that position and makes you think about that and more importantly, everyone needs to be educated about the deaf culture in America. Totally. Um, I just learned yesterday that uh, English, first language of, of America, Spanish, obviously the second, and mm -hmm. the third is sign language. And wow, really? Yeah, um, and sign language is such a very interesting, very expressive, beautiful language that most people just kind of mull over because it's you know not something that they encounter on a daily basis. Right. but. I, I really feel like it would be something amazing for everybody to know more about it. It's not that everybody needs to know how to speak it, but just learn about it and, and kind of learning deaf etiquette, I think, mm -hmm. is really important as well because working on the show, meeting other deaf people, I've, I've definitely found out, oh, well, man, I kind of thought about this in a weird, different yeah, way. What is something you, you have learned, learned yeah, like, that you can you share learned? with all of us? Because we've learned a lot from just watching definitely. the show, too. Well, um... One misconception, I've, I've 
said this a couple of times, was uh, the difference, bet- like when you say, oh, can you have someone interpret for so-and-so who is deaf mm-hmm. uh, for me? It, it is an interpreter and not a translator because some people would say, oh, well, it's a language, you're translating the language. Mm-hmm. But for instance, um, to say good in sign language is uh, like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you just do this, that's, that's good. And, uh, but we r- so rarely say, that was good. You, you say, eh, it was good, or, oh, so good. Oh, and so someone watching that knows that that is yeah. really good. And, uh-huh. so, and an interpreter will interpret that and tell you oh, they really liked it instead oh. of it was good. that was good, you know? So, and yeah, so it's I've different seen. than just, you know, muchas gracias, you yeah. know, oh, thank you very much. Uh-huh. It's thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. That's good so and cool. thank you are very close. <laughs> so how, are, how have you been learning these things? Well, Katie uh, on set has mm-hmm. taught me, I, we started up a thing where I had her teach me five signs a day, mm-hmm. which um, didn't last through the whole 10 episodes, but. I mean, that's, I, a, that's I, a tall order, so good for you for I, you know, I would say I made it through the first eight, you know, pretty, wow. pretty well. Um, so I, I, I've picked up a lot of vocabulary words. I'm not like speaking in complete sentences yet, but I can finger spell all the letters and I know how oh, to count. Oh, that's cool. So that's, that's great. Good. Well, congratulations. I know, that's Thank really you. neat. Yeah, we're all learning, we're enjoying the show, there's lots of drama, but there's also a lot that people can connect with emotionally, which is super cool. It's like an added bonus. Definitely. Plus, your music's on the show, so that's pretty so, cool. What? Yeah. what? <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Is there going to be a love coming up for your character? Oh, you kind of had some love at the end of, you're using that band thing and like yeah. hugging the girl and Unfortunately, smiling. that's Sweet. all, that, you that's know. That's the end? That's the end of that. But um, <laughs> I've been begging the writers for, uh, because I'm the only one in the entire cast that hasn't had some kind of love interest. What's up with that? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to them, like, people are going to start to worry that I'm playing <laughs> the same characters that I might have been playing on Disney beforehand. <laughs> yeah, you got to get a love interest. <laughs> I need Come to play on. something a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you like yeah. to have play your love interest? Any requests um, thrown out into the universe? Wow, that's. Um, I have a long list here. <laughs> let's let's uh, pull that list out. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> laminated. <laughs> no, I've I've slipped several names to the writers. Okay, um, cool. I mean, including my girlfriend. If Perfect. you're watching, I love you, Emily Morris. <laughs> <laughs> that you already have chemistry. It's built in. You're set. So right. Totally. We've been together for five years. Dude, wow. perfect. Let's make it happen. We're signed Let's on. All. We're starting Let's make it happen. <laughs> and any news on new episodes of Switch to Birth? When can we find out about that? Monday, 9 p.m., ABC Family. And if they want Perfect. all the details, they can follow you on Twitter as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, at, at Mr. Grabeel. Oh. Grab Eel. Love it. Grab <laughs> that in. Grab <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> Thanks for, for having me. Two songs for us. All of you guys out there watching, make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the latest news on Switched at Birth. And you got to come back here to check out two songs straight from Lucas. We're going to have them coming at you guys very soon. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. We'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks.